بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن استنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. ما بعرف. Today we will do the Surah Al-Maida, the almost the end part of the Surah Al-Maida. After this ayah, we have only around 20-25 ayahs left. Then we can finish another big surah from the the Quran of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Today the number of ayah, although it looks uh, more than uh, usually we do, we usually we do 10 ayahs. So today almost like 15 ayahs we are doing. But the ayahs are very straightforward. When I say straightforward, it means you know there are a uh, few themes going on in Surah Al-Maida. As you know that in this surah, uh, the last few verses that we did, we was talking about the history from the Bani Israel. And when I say history, it's history in their characteristic. So how they used to behave with the, with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How they were injustice to each other by following the rules and the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we mentioned, Allah mentioned this one, Allah mentioned this in Surah Al-Baqarah also, and in some part of the Surah Al-Ali Imran, and here again in Maida, just to give a, a, an idea to the Muslim Ummah, the Ummah that has been formed recently, because this is the time just after Hudaybiyah. So the Muslims are in power and they are you know, creating their own constitution, they are creating and they are spreading through, the, through the, the land of the Arab and going, and in future they will be going out of the land of the Arab. And that's why Allah telling them to be just, you know, this is how you should follow and this is what you not should do. So the last ayah that we did last uh, week or week before, ayah number 74, Allah bring the topic of Isa ibn Maryam. And also this surah, the name al Maida. As you know, the Maida means, what is Maida means, brother, anybody? What is the meaning of Surah Maida? Table, table spread, yes, it's called the table spread. And table spread is what, which table is Allah talking about? We'll, we'll see at the end of the Surah, the last 10 or 12 ayah, Allah tell that story. And that word Maida comes here. This is a story of Isa alayhi salam, so we'll talk about it when we come to that. So Allah bring the topic of Isa alayhi salam, and Allah says, now, you know, just in ayah number 75, this ayah is regarding that. Allah is saying, <coughs> let's see, the son of Mary, the, the son of Mary was nothing but a messenger only. So Allah is giving, telling us, because the ayah before is 72 and 73 and 75, Allah says, Allah talked about two main doctrine of Christianity, that, you know, they, some of them call the mercy is Allah. You know, astaghfirullah, they say that the Jesus is the God. And some of the groups say Jesus is God and he's also son of the God. So they're confused in, in themselves. And also, another thing they said, Allah is one from the three. So the, the trinity. So Allah mentioned these two topics before. So now Allah is saying, Allah is giving them proof. Look, Isa was a messenger only. And his mother was a Siddiqa. You know, the supporter of truth in, in English. But Siddiqa you know, Siddiq is a very high level. We saw, mentioned in one of the khutbah that there are four levels among the, the among the, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a human being. The first level is the Nabi and the Rasul. And we know between Nabi and Rasul, the Rasul has a higher higher authority or a higher uh, daraja. So the Nabi and Rasul is the first, then the Siddiqun, then the Shuhada, and then the Salihun. So Allah is saying that, you know, she is the Siddiqa, and then they both used to eat food. Look at Allah's logic. Allah is saying that they used to eat food. And when Allah said they used to eat food, that means a lot of things. You know, they are not angels, because angels don't eat food. And when people eat food, that means they are dependent. That they, when people eat food, when they are hungry, so they had a need. They cannot be, you know, uh, like something like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as they are saying, that, you know, that, that he is the son of God or the God himself. You know, the God doesn't feel hunger, but he used to hunger. And also, when you eat something after the eat, you have some things to do also. You have to relieve yourself. There are some physical things you have to do. So Allah is mentioning by one ayah, that, you know, they both used to eat food and love how we make clear to them the signs. So Allah said, look, I'm clearing every sign for them, then look how they are deluded. It's still there, deluded. They are not, they're confused, they don't know what they're doing. And say, Allah is telling Rasulullah tell them, do you worship beside Allah that which holds for you no power and cannot do any harm or benefit while Allah is who's hearing and knowing. So Allah is, has the all, all power. Then Allah is saying, O oh, people of this world, do not exceed limits in your religion beyond the truth. And this is, this ayah is implicated in our ummah also. Allah is saying, Whenever you deal with religion, do not go to extreme. You know, do not be extremist you know, in, 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 in showing of your love. And you will see it in our ummah now also, that a group of people, a group of Muslims, they love Rasulullah so much, and they are way beyond it, and they are doing something that is innovative, you know, that is bid'ah, as, as you know. And some of the group, you know, they, some, they have their own leader, and they say our leader has reached in such a level that you know, they have connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is mentioning, and this was also 
in the time of the the, the Bani Israel, the time of the you know the, the the Christian people, that you know they went beyond the limit and do not follow the inclination of people who had gone astray before. So Allah is saying there are people like this before and mislead many and they have misled many people and they strayed from the the soundness of the way. So they were not on the Siratul Mustaqim. And then Allah is saying this kind of people who were before uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the time of Isa sallam during the time of Musa sallam during the time of Dawud sallam Allah is saying I have given the scripture to Dawud and to Jesus and their scripture has a lot of scolding so Dawud sallam and Isa sallam in their book in their revelation as you know the Dawud sallam got Zabur and Zabur was basically you can say like in our time like a hum like the, the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no not many laws and you know rules and regulation the fiqh uh, in, in Zabur, but still in that Allah is saying that I have, I have given them scolding because they used to try to fix their people, that fix the nation that you know, they are, you are doing too much, so you know Allah is scolding them through the through the, the Dawood and the, and the Jesus, the son of Mary that was because they disobeyed Allah and why Allah give this to them? Because it was disobeyed Allah in our Quran, if you see whenever you see the word as you have seen a lot of time in this one you will see the word is very soft even if Allah says something, you know about the, the alcohol and you know, the, the wine, the zina and all these things, Allah said, you know, don't go close to them. Even those haram things when Allah says, Allah's, Allah's tone is very soft. The language is very soft to say, you know, as if Allah is saying, and, and right way Allah says this, if you do this, you will get Jannah. The Jannah, the, you know, the, the, the rivers flow underneath. So Allah just right away say the, the reward for that. And sometimes when Allah said, you know, but you know, remember, if you don't follow this, then you have the hellfire. So always in the Quran, you will see the Jannah and Jahannam mentioned most of the time together just to give the idea. But for those nations, Allah said, because they disobeyed so much, they do you know Allah have given something that is very harsh in, in, in nature uh, and the language. Then they say, one of the another nature, they are not only they used to make excessive in their deen, they also use not prevent each other doing wrong thing. And this is very, I put it red because this is a nature in our, we don't stop each other doing the wrong thing. Since they use not to prevent one another from wrongdoing what they, they did and how wretched was the which they were doing. So, you know, it was very, you know, uh, what something they were doing, it is not praiseworthy at all. They are doing wrong and one was looking at that they are doing wrong, nobody come and prevent saying that, no, no, this is wrong, it's a shit. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should not do like this. Nobody stopped that. They just didn't care. And that's what we see even in the nation today, in the Christianity. If you look at them, nobody goes to the churches. You know, even if they go, they don't follow the rules. And their people, people who know the knowledge, you know, they don't even come and say no to that. Rather, they make the thing so soft and easy so that they can attract people towards them. They change the book. They change the law. And you know, a lot of churches already... They have, you know, you know, given support to the, the same-sex marriage and all these other things, which is completely forbidden in, in their religion, in their Sharia. Whatever book they have now, the corrupted book, even in that, that is, that is prohibited. But still, they are, you know, modifying and supporting this because they want to attract people to them. Because they know that people are going away from them and they are not stopping them to doing anything. The next few ayah, Allah says, you see many of them becoming allies of those who disbelieve. This part is the part of the time of Rasulullah Sallam. Allah is saying, the time of Rasulullah Sallam, there are Christian people and also the Jewish people and they used to prefer the Mushrikun, the Mushrikun of the Makkah more than the Muslim. They know that these people are coming from the same train. This book, Quran, is talking the prof stories of our prophets. It's talking about Adam, it's talking about Dawud, it's talking about Ibrahim. All these are our prophets. We know their name, but still they prefer the Mushrikun as their friends. And you know how rich it is there that they have put forth for themselves in that Allah has become very angry with them because they prefer, the, they know that the, we are close to them but still they are giving preference to the mushrikun. And if they had believed in Allah and the Prophet, so Allah, as I said uh, uh, many times, that you know, for the people of that time, the people of the Jewish and the Christian during that lifetime of Rasulullah, they still have chance to go to Rasulullah and repent with him because he is the Rasulullah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he asks seek forgiveness and they repent obviously they will be will be rewarded with this one what is the reward they say no if they believed him they would not have taken them allies but many of them are definitely disobedient you will surely find most intense of the people so this ayah is talking about Rasulullah that you know <coughs> you will find among the people the animosity towards the believers so the, the, the Jewish and those who associate others with Allah so Allah is saying here three types of people here. Allah is saying the Jewish and the Mushrikun, they will, you will find them very, you know, animosity towards you people. Why is Allah saying that? And we see this now also. If you look at the Jewish history, even today, if you read books about Jewish religion, 
like you know our scholars, you know, scholars like Abu Hanifa, you know Imam Shafi, you know all these scholars written different type of books. Imam Bukhari. So they also have their scholars from the last 100 century or 300, 400 century. If you read the books, you will find in most of the Jewish books they have a lot of hatred against the Muslim. And the Mushrikun of our time, if you look, the Hindus are the, 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 the prime example. You will see that the story of you know burning the Quran and all these things, Hindu has always have a have a animosity, hatred toward the, the Muslim at all. On the other hand, the Christian population, if you look in general, even, even in now our time, even in the countries like in Australia, America, and Canada, if you look, they are more cooperative. Yes, they are, you know, the doctrine is different, okay, but they are more cooperative to the Muslim Ummah. You will find even in this country, a lot of uh, Christian church, they have given the charge on Friday to pray Juma if there is no masjid nearby. They have given the chances to, you know, uh, you know in, to doing some community work. You know, we see this in, in a lot of time, you know, in, in, the, in the Facebook, in, in nowadays even, uh, the, the sheikhs, you know, the, the mashaykh in the, in the U.S., they are doing collaboration with the Muslim. You'll never find a synagogue, a place of worship for Jewish, has given something for Muslim. Very hard, really. I'm not saying all Jewish are like this, but it is, as Allah mentioned, it is really that the, 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 the softness that you get from the, these three kind of people, the most softness you will get from the people of the, of the Christianity, the people and Nasara. This part of the ayah Allah saying, and when they hear that what has been revealed to the messenger, this part is talking about a very positive sign of the Christian people. Because just now Allah said that among these Christian, Jewish, and in the Mushrik people, the Christian have the most soft corner for you. And because why? Because some of them, in the time of Rasulullah, even even after that, when they listen to the Quran, their eyes they cry with tears. Now, very interesting word. When when someone say, you know, uh, the baby is crying or someone is crying. Crying means that you know you have tears from the eyes. But Allah mentioned both here and Allah mentioned this twice in the Quran. Allah could have said they are crying when they hear the, the ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but Allah said they are crying with the tears because Allah wants to show the intensity of that. And Allah is saying that you know the, this tear that they're doing, this is from the tears of repentance and the tears of acceptance of the message. And those people who are the Christian and they listen to the message. And they believed in that and they are making a dua. Allah mentioned this dua in the Quran. They say, our Lord, we have believed. So when they listen to the, the Quran, they believe. So register us among the witnesses. Some of the uh, Mufassirun says, this <coughs> ayah is regarding the ayah of the, the people of the uh, Abyssinia. You know, the, when, when, you know the, the group of Sahaba went there and they recited the, the few verses from uh, the Jafar. Jafar was the, the Sahaba, the Jafar ibn Abi Talib. He recited the, the ayah, some ayah of Surah Maryam and the, the tears flow from the, from the king of Habasha, you know, the, and Najasi. So, you know, the, this, this ayah probably related to that. Some of the Mufassir made the comment. And why should we not believe in Allah? So their, their dua continues. They say, why should we believe in Allah? What has come to us of the truth? So they know that this is the truth, and we aspire that our Lord will admit us, that we, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He give us Jannah and, and make us the Muhsinin, and then make us the people of the Ihsan. So Allah rewarded them. Allah saying, so I have those people, Allah rewarded them to what they have said with the garden. So what they were asked from Allah, Allah accepted the repentance, Allah accepted their you know, Islam, because they, they listen, listen to it and believe it, and Allah will enter them to the Jannah. But those who disbelieved, as I said, you know, whenever Allah said about Jannah, Allah will tell the other people, if you don't believe and deny our son, they are the companions of the hellfire. And the last uh, the slide for today, now after giving this characteristic of the, of the Jewish and the, the, the softness of the, of the Christianity, Allah come back to the, the point of the, of the Muslim Ummah, Allah say, oh who you believe, do not prohibit good things which Allah has made lawful to you and do not transgress. Why Allah saying this one here? Because just now Allah said, you know, do not make extremism in the deen, you know, don't go beyond the limits. So Allah is saying, by default, everything Allah made in this dunya is halal for you to eat and to enjoy. Except for those that Allah listed in the Quran or in the Sunnah that is haram. Allah didn't give a list in the Quran saying these are the things are halal. Allah gave a very short list that these are the things is haram. Except everything is lawful unless proven by the Sunnah or, or some uh, for Isma or a Qiyas, whatever the rule of the fiqh or in our Islamic Sharia, there is also most of the things. So Allah is saying don't go beyond and just make things haram. And we see it actually in our, our time also. Even for the kids, you know, a lot of time, you know, kids eating chocolates or this, oh, no, this is haram, this is haram. They think Islam has another name of haram. You know, like making something haram or proving something this is haram is Islam. 
It's a list of haram things that we cannot do, we cannot do, or we can do, or we cannot do. So we can eat, we cannot eat. Islam is not like this. Everything is halal by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except for the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically say or the guidance from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu And then Allah say, and eat what Allah has provided for you, lawful and good, halal and tayyib. So it's not only good, it should be the, the tayyib, the pure also, and also halal. And halal and, and tayyib, these two words comes together. Even in Surah Al-Baqarah we explain what is halal and what is tayyib. A thing could be halal for you, but maybe not pure for you. So you have to be cautious about that one. You know, people who have diabetes, sweet is halal for them, but it's not good for them. So you, know, you should not you know, eat, eat sweet because it's made halal, because you're damaging yourself. So Allah is saying, make sure it's halal also, and it's tayyib also for you, and fear Allah in whom you are believers. And then here, Allah said in ayah number 89, it's an it's a, it's a ayah about taking oath. You know, in, 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 in the countries of Arab, they always say, Wallahi, Wallahi brother, I'm, I'm going to come here. Wallahi brother, I'm going to do it. So Allah saying, if you say Wallahi so many times and you don't mean it, that's fine, Allah will hold you for responsible. Because that's the that's way they talk. Okay? But if you do some proper oath, okay, I swear by Allah, Allah is my witness, I'm never going to come to this masjid anymore because this and that and that, all these things, then you have to, and if you want to break that oath, then there are some rules, some fake rules here that you know you have to feed the poor or clothe the poor, ten people, all this fake ruling here, so we're not going to go into that. And the last ayah for today, ayah number 90, a very famous ayah, this is the final prohibition of the, of the khamar or, or the wine as you say, you know the you know, Quran has prohibited khamar in three stages, we found one in, in Surah Al-Baqarah, one in Surah Nisa, and this is the final thing Allah is saying, you know, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنَّمَا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسَرُ وَالْعَنْسَابُ وَالْعَجْلَمُ رِسُّ الْمِنَ الْعَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَاسْتَنِمُ So Allah is saying four things here, you know, indeed the intoxication gambling <coughs> and you know, the throwing the stones like, like lottery kind of thing as they used to do at that time or driving arrows, these are the work of shaitan. So فَاسْتَنِمُ don't go even close to these things because if you want to be successful, don't stay away from, this, from these four things. Inshallah ta'ala, we'll finish it here. Jazakallahu khairan. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha an. Astaghfiruka utubu ilayhi.